What's up guys and welcome to the 12th tutorial in my PHP backend and in this tutorial I uh, will only go through the code and clean up all the mess that we made along the way. So this will also give you an opportunity to, uh, to correlate your code with mine. So because always when I watch tutorials I kind of mess up halfway and uh, then I kind of uh, figuring out what the what the like tutoring actually have in their files. So I'm just gonna open all the files and browse, browse through them so you can see how my file looks. And I will also remove all the dead code and comments that we have. So I will remove this and in here uh, I want to use the repository stuff that we built later. So this will only return one color. Uh, and this is the exactly the same design pattern that we used in the previous one. So, but it'll be get color by ID and no, sorry, this dot repository dot get color by ID ID. And also, this was just for demonstration purposes. This variable here is not used, so we can remove it. And then we can dump the variable here, I guess, like this. So this is how the control color controller should look like. And I'm gonna go through my EMV file. You uh, you need to specify your stuff in here, obviously, but you need to have these variables because otherwise it won't work. You could remove the port, database port if you're using the default uh, 3306, I think. And this is how my git ignore file looks. It just ignores the env file. And uh, my color controller we just looked at. And this is how the database interface looks like. And here we have my index file. So it looks like this. And then this is a repository and the SQL repository that looks like this. And if you don't use the port, you can remove this variable here. And I'm going to need to make some modifications in here as well. Uh, because uh, I also need to return one single color. Uh, like my, the default could be null and this should only return once uh, or it should only return one color I mean so it'll look something like this and it'll be the color name if there were multiple with the same name it would uh, return the last one right so let's try it out. So at this point I should have two available endpoints. I should have the, uh, let's look in the controller, get all col colors and get color by ID. So let's try them out. Get all colors, works. And get color by ID. And then I need to specify an ID. Uh, and I can see the IDs uh, in here. Brown, red, brown, red, I don't know. I guess it works. All right, so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.